Hello, welcome to another session on mensuration. Today, in this session, in this video recording, we'll be taking up surface area of a right circular cylinder as well as the volume of the cylinder. Let's first note down the formula for it. When we are talking about a right circular cylinder, let me try and draw one here i'm taking a black one to draw i would hope it looks like one yeah it is this is how not accurately though but this is how a right circular cylinder would look like this is this is a right circular cylinder you have two circles out here this one and this so and the curved surface area of this part becomes 2 pi rh so the total surface area will be the two circles so you have pi r square into 2 that gives you 2 pi r square and the curved surface area that is 2 pi r h this is the total surface area which can also be expressed as 2 sorry 2 pi r and then it is r plus h this includes these two circular regions as well as this curved surface area so here i can write this is the total surface area of a cylinder now come to the volume of a before moving on to volume one thing i missed if it is a hollow cylinder what will happen a hollow cylinder i'll just use the same figure to draw a hollow cylinder herein i will draw another internal dimensions so this is the thickness and the one the red cylinder is the hollow one so to find the surface area of a hollow cylinder we need to subtract this region so that we are left with only this portion with the thickness so i write the total surface area total surface area i'm using the short form of a hollow cylinder as this 2 pi I write it here it is 2 pi r this is 2 pi r r plus r when I'm writing capital R this means this radius I'm talking about the radius of the outside um, dimension along with h plus r minus r this in square units obviously it's a surface area so the total surface area of a hollow cylinder is given by this because we are subtracting this portion that is 1 pi r square and then this is another pi r square Come on to the, moving on to the volume, the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h. The volume of a cylinder is given as pi r square h. So, I write it here. After, you know, noting down this formula, we will be now moving on to take up questions wherein we see the application of these formula of surface area as well as the volume to do so i write the first question i need some space so i'll just move on here the question writes as The curved surface area, let me use CSA for it, of a right 
circular cylinder of height 14 centimeter is 88 square centimeter find oh, oh sorry find the diameter of the base of the cylinder so we are given the curved surface area this is not so difficult i'll not be solving this maybe i can help you out to tell you how to go for this so it's given the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder we know the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 2 pi r h this is equal to 88 we have to find the diameter if we find the radius we can easily find the diameter to do so you simply substitute the information given to you in the question that is let r be r and h is given as 14 you can solve this and find r once you find r you find d whatever you find is r multiply it to d 2 that will give you the diameter this was not as difficult so i didn't solve it i'll be taking up some other question again i'll need some space so i move on to another screen here okay i take the let me write the question here it says the radii of two circular cylinders are in the ratio two is to three and their heights are in the ratio five is to four Calculate the ratio of their curved surface areas. So it's given that there are two cylinders whose ratio of the radii are 2 is to 3. So we'll take the radii to be 2x and 3x respectively or you can even take 2r or 3r respectively. So I am writing radii to be one as 2x and the other one as 3x. So the height also is given in terms of ratio. So I will take the height here as 5h and 4h. We have to find the ratio of the curved surface areas. So this one, if I am uh, marking this as circle, the uh, sorry, the cylinder A, and suppose this is cylinder B. So the curved surface area of cylinder A is two pi r instead of r. I am writing two x, and instead of h, I am writing five h. By because it's a ratio, I'm writing it by. 2 pi r here is 3x and h here is 4x 2 pi 2 pi cancelled this pi xx cancel h h also getting cancelled this is giving me 2 so it is 5 by 6 or i can write it as 5 is to 6 is then the ratio of their curved surface area Whatever is informed to us, we need to first note that down and proceed according to the formula to be applied. Let's move on with few more questions. I haven't still taken up any volume question though. I write the next one here. A road roller takes. 750 complete revolutions to move once over you can very well imagine and visualize a road roller to label a road 
we have to find the area of the road if the diameter I'm not writing the whole of it so if the diameter of a road roller is 91 centimeter and length is oh I, I needed to write it here and the length is 1.25 meters it needs take 750 complete revolutions to move one over to label a road so we need to see in one revolution how long what is the distance the road roller is kind of covering the diameter is given to be 91 centimeter so the radius will be 91 by 2 but this is given in centimeters if I want to convert it into meters I need to divide again it by 100 so it becomes 91 by 200 meters this is the radius and h that is the length is given in 1.25 meter when we are talking about a road roller rolling on the road it is only covering the curved surface area yeah, like if you draw it here imagining that this is a road roller and it is rolling on the roads then we are not concerned with the side circular region we are only concerned with this portion which is rolling on the road so we are talking about the curved surface area so it is 2 pi r h is equal to 2 I'll substitute pi as 22 by 7 r we have noted as 91 by 200 and h is 1.25 or you can write it as 125 upon 100 let let this be as it is because I also need to multiply it by three seven hundred and fifty this is the distance or the length covered by the road roller in one revolution this is distance covered in one revolution so we have 750 revolutions so distance covered or rolled in 750 revolution so we need to multiply this whole thing with 750 so it now would be 22 into 22 by 7 into 91 upon 200 into 1.25 into you have 750 if you find this well, let me just do this part I'm getting two six eight one point two five this is in meter square so this is the area which the road roller covers if it is you know going over as two in 750 complete revolutions I'll take up a few questions on hollow cylinder in the next video. Thank you.